Hi folks, Christy from Shark Pixel here, and I just could not wait till my next filming day to bring you this new update from Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC. It is big, and when I say big, it means that it is going to save you tons of time when you are um, doing your post-production and doing your retouching. And so what is it? So the first thing you need to realize is that you're going to need to update your Lightroom or Lightroom Classic. So you wanna make sure you come into About Lightroom and you wanna make sure that at least for Lightroom Classic, you are, that you have downloaded the 11.4 release, okay? So that's important. If you're not sure where to download that, you can come up to your Creative Cloud icon up here and you wanna make sure that you're going to your new updates, okay? So it's version 0.4, all right? That is for Lightroom CC and for Lightroom Classic, it's 11.4. So you can see I've already updated that, but for my Lightroom CC on my computer, you would come in here and you would update right there. You'd press the update button there. Okay, so that's the first step that you need to do. The second step, so as you can see here, we've got an image of my son. Here is the before and here is the after. And we do have some unique masks going on. So let's take a moment to just take a look and peek at those masks. You can see here this mask uh, that I have, that I have used the AI command of select subject. Okay, same with the trees mask that I have. You can see that I have incorporated the AI mask select subject to subtract that information from the trees mask. And then the other thing that I have is this background mask. And you can see that again, in three different locations, I have used the subject command in some of my masks. All right, to make the hybrid masks. If you're wondering how to edit this image from start to finish, definitely check out a new class that I have coming up on editing in Lightroom CC on our mobile devices, which is great because they're always with us. But the big news for today, the reason why I'm going out of my main filming days and just had, had, had to let you guys see this information is because if we take the masks that are on this specific image that I have, and I have two additional images down here in my uh, film strip, you can see here is the one that I worked up, here is the next one, and here is another good one after that. You, can, you would have to go back in and you would have to manually update those AI masks um, one by one in the image and on top of that, what you would have to do is if you had three different select subject commands like we do, you would have to actually update that three times per image. So that's a lot of clicking on the word update. But the good news is that if I select my first frame down here in my film strip, let me make this film strip a little bigger. If we go ahead and take this edit, this final edit that we have, and we hold down shift and we select our additional images that we would like to apply those presets to, and we come in here and we hit sync. Now we can go ahead and let's just check all of our settings. We don't need to check crop. We don't need to check spot removal. Those things might be unique to the image, but we do wanna make sure that our masking is checked. We have our trees mask, our BG, our background mask, and our mask three, I think, which is the subject. And we hit synchronize. You'll see a new pop-up window that says your settings were synced, but updating AI masks may take a minute. And if we now come to our next two images, you can see, especially over here, that the masks have been updated for you automatically, which everybody should be cheering about because it means less work from you, less headache from you, less clicking from you, less mundane skills from you, or mundane tasks that you have to sit through and complete. 
now all of that work is being done for you within the program. And I said, and like I said, this is a new feature. It's just been rolled out. You do need to make sure that you have downloaded the latest update on Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC. And if you do that, you're gonna be able to reap the benefits and work a lot smarter and not as hard, all right? If you have enjoyed this little clip, this little update that I really needed to just get out to my audience because I really wanted you to know about it immediately, if you feel like this is information that other people should see as well, go ahead, like this video, comment below so that more people can be alerted of these amazing updates that have just come out. I think it's important for us to spread the good word and let everybody know that our lives have just been made a lot easier by Lightroom. So thank you so much. And until next time, I will see you on the next course.